Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Millennium Dawn is Indonesia. Let us continue on for we last left off. So we're still currently fighting our way uh, through north of Sumatra. I'm, I'm hoping at some point we'll be able to put this uh, insurrection down. Uh, but aside from that, I would say things are going pretty, pretty okay. We got this guy at 78. Wait, are we now doing damage? Our negative 75 is gone. No, our negative 75, our negative 95 is returned. Okay, so cool. Okay, the Italian election has happened. That is fine. So it's 78 here, huh? The Atolia has fled Iran. So I'm assuming that the Iranian uh, Islamic Republic probably not going to be lasting too much longer. I mean, I would say Revolutionary Iran probably has the, uh, the advantage here for sure. So now we need West Papua. Two, two civilian factories and four land forts. What a what is four land forts West Papua? Well, what do you got in there now? We have one civilian factory, so we need to build ourselves another civilian factory here, and then for some reason, four land forts. So I guess we'll do a one, two, three, four like this. Throw this to the bottom of the list. You'll be done in January, and it, this shouldn't be uh, take too too long. I'm just surprised that this is what it really wants us to do. Maybe have you come in here for the support. If that's not for the United States, I mean, I will take it for sure. I mean, our independence right now is at 25%, which is pretty, pretty bad. Get two land forts off of this. Educate them in guerrilla warfare. Train time goes down. Sure. I mean, I would like to get rid of, uh, well, back to Christian as much as we possibly can. Okay, so we fought radicalism. Give me 35 command power. I'm sure that maybe is important. And aside, what do we want next? High police... You just cost money for no reason. You give me 10% party popularity, which may maybe that's okay, but... Eh, to be honest. You know what? Give me the GICA. Uh, we'll take a small um, construction speed bonus. And an office sector. I mean, that's more money for us, right? I still need to get... I still need to fix our tax situation, though. Like, it, like it's it's terrible. There'll be, like, 17 different modifiers that are affecting it negatively, which is very cool. Uh, what do we still need to build? We need a lot of stuff. Okay, I guess we'll go with, uh, probably we need mounted ATGMs, right? Presumably. Yeah, it's one of the many things we need. We need, we need so many military factories. Just a lot. A never-ending amount, really. You know, let's bring our navy over here. We'll give ourselves, you know, a very, very slight... I mean, 3%, 3% maybe adds up in, in some capacity. So what are you guys up to? I mean, you're kind of bombing them a little bit. I'll probably go to the air, this airfield. Maybe you're going to be slightly closer. And that's fine. So we were at 4%. 24%, 24.5. Okay. I mean, that's better. That for sure is better. Because once we take... This province. You will then move out, presumably. No, no, because then you'll be you'll be encircled. And that's kind of good for us, because it's a negative 30%, uh it's a negative 30% attack penalty. And defense as well. So maybe we'll see something good happen there. If we're if we're, if we're incredibly lucky, we'll see something good happen here. But even then, like, their, their attack value is pretty bad. Their defense value is not great. The terrain, entrenchment, we're attacking the mountains, aren't we? Of course we are. Of course we are. Again, I want, yeah, I want all of you like this. 86. It's just like that negative 95. And I, and I don't know where it's coming from. Still. Still, I don't know. It's definitely a little sad for us. And again, I still don't know how we um, can hire anybody here. Shops open on holidays. Shop open on ho on holy days. Who gives a hoot about religion? Everyone doesn't like us. This, you know, give me... Um, we'll respect tradition. Give me the little bit of stability, please, and thank you. Because our stability is pretty... I mean, 28. It's not good. I would say it's pretty goddamn bad. We could even move these units up as well. 
We might, why not? I mean, I, I don't know if supplies are really... No, our supplies up here are fine. We'll bring Brown Army up. Maybe they can put a little bit of more pressure here. And we'll just, we'll pray. Your defense doctrine is okay. Recovery rate. What are your bonuses? You have Gorilla Leader. Eh. I mean, it's something, right? If we were to move all of you here, you're going to fall back. We are at negative 90. Uh, we're at 94%. It does say it's still going to take about 200 days, which is just absolutely goddamn absurd. But, I mean, that's probably faster than it used to be, so... You know, take it or leave it. How long will this take? So it's 54 days for us to presumably fail. You're switching alternating somewhere between 200 and 600 days. Which is just fantastic. Like, how much... I mean, you're losing organization fairly quickly. 8.1... 7.7. .7. I mean, it's going down. That's really what we're looking for here. But now you're retreating into this province. But you should have basically no organization. So you should fall back pretty quickly. There's another office sector. Could get two units, which I guess is okay. What about you? The rural folk? Sure. We'll, we'll take it. Okay, so what's going on in the rest of the world? So, Revolution of going to uh, end up winning their war. We got microprocessors. Maybe we need, like, some sort of military upgrade. Like a 1975 breakthrough in defense. And we'll go with the 1975 tandem charge warheads. We need something, okay? Our, mi our military situation is just piss poor. Okay, your organization. 12, 11.8... Again, it's, it's moving down, and then you retreat back. But because you're going to retreat with, like, no organization, you should get kind of ping-ponged back and forth. Which may be a little annoying, but really, I, I can't do anything about that. Maybe you'll just, like, end up being killed. And I, I would be happy with that outcome as well. I mean, we are paying a little bit of fuel, but, you know, I, th I think in Indonesia, we are pretty, um... Well, 25. 25 fuel is not bad. And now you should be considered encircled, which is going to be negative 33, negative 33. Your defense value is 4, huh? I mean, that seems pretty good. Terrain, country, enemy superiority, encirclement penalty. Let's have you guys move in like this. We'll circle you around. We'll just have, we have to just keep fighting our way in. Just, like, forget about casualty rates. Also, we need to move you back to this port for the shore bombardment bonus. And then we just slowly try to uh, knock them out. However long that may or may not take. We are over our uh, combat width, which, which is maybe a little, uh, a little sad. But we do get a, a bit of a penalty for that, but what can you do? But, you know, I'm not even going to worry about it. At some point, our units will push their way through. You know what? What if I do a force attack? How, do, how does that affect uh, these numbers? Commander ability. Violence in Kalmadian. Political power. Okay, we'll take a negative 2%. They're still over our limit. Rain, nighttime, low supply. Commander skill. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll just we'll sit here and pray. And eventually we'll we'll win that war. But until then, I think we do want to go to I think we want to resource get more resources at the market. We have so many resources that I think this does make sense. Why are you expensive? Original power, okay, we can't really do anything about that. But we have so much rubber, I want to get that out of Indonesia as quickly as possible. Because if we can sell the rubber to other nations in the world, we will hopefully make some good bucks. We are losing 14.8 trillion. Uh, mostly because uh, the 
I mean, it's only in defense. Rex not spending that much money on defense. It's goddamn welfare. And I don't think I can reduce welfare payments anymore. Like, it just costs 5.2 billion because there's fucking a quarter of a billion people in the country. Like, why? Well, I can't do anything about that. Encryption plus one. Reinforcement rate plus two percent is never bad. You know what? Give me a hit and run tactics. Why not? Give me a reinforcement rate. Never really hurts, I would say. 214. 200. I mean, at some point... Well, they're now down to five. We are actually killing units, which is where I wanted where I wanted to be. So you want to help out representation for villagers, political power. One infrastructure in Papua New Guinea for 3% stability. Or we get... That's only for like a year, which honestly kind of sucks. Or we help the fishermen. One naval dockyard. 2% stability. Let's go with representation for the villagers. Give me a little bit of political power off that. I won't say no to it. And how is our construction? We've got two of the two of the forts. Is it it is four forts, right? It's not one level four fort. Which I think it's up here. At least at least four land fort, which I'm assuming means we need four of them in total. And we got three. So interest rate right now is at uh, 12.1%. We need to make money. Fortified churches. I mean, I'll still I'll keep spending my political power on this stuff. At some point, I'm hoping that the uh, Papua New Christian resistance will just go away. And I'll never have to worry about it again. Okay, you can organizations dropping. Once the organization these units drop low enough, they will get killed off because they can't retreat anywhere. And that is going to make this better for us. Big big thumbs up for me. So you guys don't like me too much. Who does like us? The landowners. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about having the landowners. They're not like super, super important for us. So you cost 103 billion to upgrade. Corruption is 405 points to upgrade. It's very, very expensive. We're only getting 1.73 political power per day, which is, as I said, if we're uh, Millennium Dawn, really, really, really bad. Like, it's pretty terrible. We also we need to get rid of the, uh, the Rupia crisis. Okay, Ru... Okay, fix the Rupia. It's over on... Down here... Now, how do I get there? Satisfy nation. So I need to be down on this tree. So I need to I need to go down with call for Japanese aid to actually get our way down here. So I probably should do that first and foremost because that is going to be a 35% income tax swing. Which is probably don't necessarily take my word for it. It feels like that's important. <laughs> We'll get a representation, get a little bit more party popularity. Right now we're at 30%, which is not terrible. I will say the um, Salaf uh, Salafism, it's getting more and more popular by the day. But that's kind of fine. Okay, Mongolia's had their election. 57 political power, I really can't afford anything here. But I, and I don't know if I really want to. I think we just save. We save our political power to deal with the corruption. Because that's really just what makes the most sense. Recognition of your government. I don't need to do this. Hide recognition. We'll uh, hide the Shanghai Cooperation Organization as well, at least for the time being. And when will you be finished? You will be finished on the 13th of September. That will complete this mission here. We do get 3% stability, which is nice, for sure, because our stability is still ass. Okay, let's go back to Japanese aid. We need we need to get here. Which requires you. Which requires you, which requires you, which requires this. I don't know when this unlocks. Maybe somewhere down here. Let's let's just keep going down the Japanese tree and we'll just hope for the best, right? Okay, so we have won the war. Which means our stability has gone back up to, I'd say, a pretty decent amount. We'll be able to tax these citizens. What, wait, what's your penalty here? Max state, division speed. Honestly, nothing horrible. 
I guess we'll deploy Brown Army now to the border of Papua New Guinea. Uh, we'll deploy Red Army to the border of Malaysia. And that just seems like it makes the most sense for the time being. And once we've kind of, like, solved the economy, that's kind of when we can start influencing other countries. Philippines, Malaysia, Papua New Guinea, Singapore, and Brunei. We can form ourselves our own little uh, faction down there. Our own new country. That's my goal. And, my, and when that happens, my god, how much money we're going to be making. So we're going to, it's going to go through the roof. Oh, I say that. I, I, need, I, need this, I need this solved. ASAP. Because what is our penalty here? Negative 65%. We, so we should be more than double this if we could solve our problems. Which I think would be quite nice. I don't know about you. I think not having problems, probably a little bit better than having problems. So maybe I'm just crazy like that. I'm not planning on invading Papua New Guinea. I'm not really planning on invading Malaysia. But it's just, these troops are here just in case, right? It's, just, it's a... It's a just in case. Don't worry about it, Malaysia. I have a ni negative 95% attack modifier, so... I, I Even if I wanted to try to kill you, I don't think it would accomplish anything whatsoever. Uh, let's go with resource gain. It seems okay. Okay, 205. So we're almost, uh, we've almost got you going next. I would like to replace the landowners, but, I mean, who would I even replace them with? You'd also need, like, 1,800 political power, which... Would take, I'm gonna say it, would would take quite a bit of time to, to accomplish. But that's okay. So we don't need to worry about you. We could comp try to combat our own foreign influence, but right now, I'm I, I still feel fairly secure with where we're at. Yeah, 131 days. We'll definitely get this finished, I believe at least. Disaster in West Papua. I mean, they're no longer angry with me. So I would consider that to be a success. We no longer have Christian resistance over in uh, in West Papua. Things like, we also like, we have so many folks that I want to take. We can contact the Dutch. Maybe the Dutch will give us some money. Escalate some situations. What else we got here? I mean, are you, how long are you here? 56 days. It's actually longer to side with either the Muslims or the Christians. I guess if you pack the Muslims, it actually forces you to come over here. Well, I mean, no, because you can only get this if you if you side with the Muslims and do this. Or is it just one of the following? No, all the following. He'll try his police, crush the gangs, we'll remove ethnic tensions with mediating ethnic tension. I mean, that seems positive. Oh, I don't need to get all of these. I just need to go down to here. Okay, I mean, that, that's way less bad. I thought we need to get all of these and then, um... Unless you need both of those as well. You need all of these. Which is a bit of a weird way to kind of, uh, stage this, but that's okay. And I don't know how do we unlock investor own politics. It says seven-day focus. I just don't know... Is it a new capital? Maybe a new capital uh, uh, opens this up? That would make the most sense to me. Mostly because I don't know what other avenue you would reasonably take. Okay, Chaos in the Ivory Ghost. And we almost have enough political power. Namely, almost. To go up one level of corruption. Or go, go down a level of corruption, I should say. I mean, that's 5% taxes. And I we love taxes here. We are paying so much money, man. Interest in debt is our highest expenditure. But again, the situation is really just that Indonesia is a really, really big country. And because it's such a big country, even the most basic of services are very, very expensive. Okay, so what do we got here? Political power goes down. None of our business. Sure, I'll take the 10 political power. It gets me a little bit closer to dealing with this. We could also just spend $100 billion to do stable growth. I mean, that's so expensive. Is there a way we... Probably one of these does it for free. Sean, okay, so that's a free level of uh, anti-corruption there. Why would I want to take this? 
it, we, it just gives us $36 billion. That's like two weeks of income. I think that's essentially nothing. So yeah, we're definitely going to go to shine corruption. It just wouldn't make sense to do anything else. You get stable growth for free, which is kind of what we're looking for. I just need to know, how do I unlock you? What do, what do I need to do? Because again, you need all of these. Yes. So you need everything here. What do, we, what do we have? Do any of you help me right away? You cost me money. You cost me money. I mean, everything I think cost us money. You cost $15 billion, man. You're also $7.5 billion. Every, everything's expensive. If we have another incoming disaster in Malakas, we need two infrastructure and one airbase. Malakas is one of these islands. You. So now we need to build two infrastructure... We need to have to structure one airbase. It has nothing in it. Okay. Well, let's build ourselves an airbase. Let's get ourselves our two infrastructure. We'll throw this at the bottom. I mean, this shouldn't take too, too long to build. Airbase and infrastructure are fairly cheap. Um, are fairly cheap. But I do think that at least for right now, we, now that we've dealt with the rebellion in the north, we're slowly trying to build up the economy. This is going to be a good time for us to end off this episode. So if you enjoyed my thumbs up, now you can always thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.